Alrighty guys, let me show y'all what I got going on. Well, y'all see with all the stuff I had to remove just to gain access to the AC service port. So if you're ever looking for them, they underneath uh, the air cleaner box have to come off. Uh, you have this one right here on the high side, and the low side. Um, it's right there, y'all can see it. Well anyway, this thing registers zero on the gauge. Okay, which typically indicate there is no Freon in here, guys. No pressure at all. All right, now you would think that makes it easier to find. Remember, guys, this Freon is, uh, you see that? One, two, three, four, Y, F, which, from what I'm told, has die built in it. So if your gauge is registered zero, you obviously have a leak, right? <laughs> Unless somebody physically took it out using a machine, which is highly unlikely. Now, so I'm faced with the donning task. Okay, before I do anything, let me just look around, see if I can find some leaks. Well, and I was headed to get my ultraviolet light along with my little uh, glasses. Turned out I don't need them, guys. I'm going to let it back up. I let it down so uh, the manager can see what was going on. But I've never seen anything like this as far as the physical part being damaged. Uh, instead of talking, let's let me let y'all see. I'm gonna let this up. Pretty much, my diagnostics can stop. All right, guys, we in the underbody now. Y'all know most of these cars have shields on them, covering the underbody. But I was able to. Let me take this back off. All right, so I merely took this off. And look down there, y'all see all that? So like I say, I do not even need my ultraviolet light. But what I wanna, y'all see right here, this compressor. Oh, let me get y'all some of these parts. Oh, pieces, oh. That compressor has shattered. Okay, my focus. Right there, y'all see that? That compressor has shattered, guys. I've never seen nothing like that. So all the Freon obviously blew out of there. I'm sure some, yeah, I got some pieces right here on the inside the cover. I probably should have gloves on. In fact, I know I should, but yes, this compressor literally came apart. Look, that's the piece of the compressor right there. Right down. So pretty much, I mean, long story short, I will need a compressor, but now I'm like, that's not like induced. That's like, not like he hit something in the road and something, because it's a shield on here. Not only that, impact is not gonna go straight to the rear of the compressor like that. So this compressor has just literally just came apart. No reason whatsoever. Damn, I'm not sure how many miles on it. But I, have, I will need a compressor. And the machine that we use, guys, it won't even go any further. Like, when I first hooked the machine up, it's going to try to vacuum the system. Yeah, obviously, the vacuum is going to fail, right? Because of that leak. <laughs> so, it would not even proceed with installing Freon. So, you literally, if you have one that has a, a leak like that, you have no choice but to look for the leak. And again, guys, because this Freon has die built into it, uh, that's the upper hand. Like my light, my uh, will will proceed, or my uh, tool will pick that up right away. All right, guys. So the thinking goes, if you need a compressor, be best to go ahead and replace the dryer. So I gotta, I can't just do any of this. I gotta sell this stuff. So I'll put all this back together later. Let me let this car back down, guys. We'll finish up on the top. All right, guys. So what I'm looking around for is uh, a dryer. Okay, remember now, I said this before, I said it again, when you do a compressor, you likely should do, when you do a compressor for contamination, you likely should go ahead and do the dryer, okay? And know what, if I was a dryer, where would I live? Okay, some of these new cars, they have, uh, can, is that an expansion valve? So, some cars are equipped with an expansion valve as well as a dryer. This, okay. Looks like it, 
may be part of the condenser guys in fact the very last one I put on a long time ago they brought me a, I asked for a dryer and they brought me a condenser so that tells me the condenser is physically part of the dryer yes I want to say it like that how difficult is that to do it don't look too bad once you get the, the bumper cover off so that's what my estimate gonna be guys I would get in trouble so I got to do a compressor uh, a dryer evac and recharge you got to charge for evac and recharge and guys this Freon is going to be extremely expensive I guarantee you the parts of compressor probably a thousand dollars um I don't know. I can't even guesstimate what the other stuff is. But it's going to be an expensive job just to <laughs> get the temperature inside the car cold. All right. Uh, I don't know. What happened? I don't know. Is that a defect? This car don't have that many miles on it. Or do it? I don't even know that. When I find the R-Road number, I'll put it in the description because I don't want to spew out the wrong mileage. But that's what we had on this, guys. Okay. It's just one of those fluke physical things. Yeah, there's no impact down there, so that compressor just decided to live a short life. <laughs> I guess high pressure build up. Now, high pressure can cause that. What could cause high pressure? Fan not working. Fan is not froze up. I mean, that's not a good way to test it. It's a quick way to test if the fan locked up, but it's not. All right, so I have to start. You got to have a place to start, guys. So I got to start with... I know that's an expensive start. Uh, we got to put a compressor on and go any further. I will evacuate the system fully. The machine, it's an automatic thing with the machine. So you punch in your numbers and tell it what you want to do, and it will go through the complete process. And guys, you know what's real good about this machine? You're not going to get a complete or finished stand standpoint <coughs> unless the machine, it's like the machine going to be the end all tell all. If the machine passed, the system held up well. There's absolutely no leaks because the machine going to check for a leak uh, before you even put Freon in it. And it's going to pull it back out. It's going to put it in it, pull it back. It's a long process if you enter the VIN. Okay. But uh, All right, I'm talking too much. Let me write this estimate up, guys. I'll get back with y'all if they decide they want to. They have no choice. It's hot. <laughs> and that's the only thing we don't have a problem now to getting approval for, and that's AC work. So this is no exception. So we'll see what happens, guys. Stay tuned.